Hey everyone, it's me Dennis. Today I want to record something pretty cool actually. So I created a form, a Google form, and I asked you guys for your top favorite horses and your top least favorite horses. And you guys did not disappoint. You kicked in with 430 responses, which is pretty a pretty big number. And so what I'll be doing today is I'll be showing you guys the top three most favorite horses as well as the top three least favorite horses, aka the worst horses, in your opinion. So these are not my opinions, these are not my top three favorite horses, and these are not my top three worst horses, these are yours. I gotta say I'm pretty surprised with the responses, I was not expecting you guys to dislike certain horse that much, and also like a horse that much, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. I made a little mistake, and I forgot to add the English thoroughbred as an option, for your favorite horses. To be honest, that's kind of like the main reason why I'm only doing top three horses, because I know that if I were to do top 10 favorite horses, for sure the English thoroughbred would have been somewhere there. But because I'm dumb, but I forgot to add the English thoroughbred, I'm only gonna do top three, because I'm pretty sure that the English thoroughbred wouldn't have classified uh, in the top three. So let's get right into it. All right, we'll do top three best horses from the game first, and then we'll do top three least favorite horses from the game, aka the worst horses. So, on number three, we have the Jorvik Wild Horse. Now, to be honest, I've been a fan of this horse ever since it came out. Um, it's got something very special to it. The way the mane and the tail moves when trotting and when galloping is just amazing. It's very uh, flowy, if that makes sense. Um, the horse was like a deer to me, which is not a bad thing. I, I'm a fan of deers. Um, it has the amazing special animation, which uh, we should be having as an option for every horse, you know, to just lay down and to lay down for as long as you would want to, but sadly we cannot do that yet. Um, this horse is beautiful, I understand, and I see why it's gotten um, in the top three most loved horses. It's a beautiful horse. It looks very much like a fantasy horse. It's not a, an actual horse breed from real life, it's a Jorvik wild horse. Jorvik being the world from Star Stable, so again, it's all just fantasy kind of, but even the way the nostrils move when the horse is like, you know, breathing, looks amazing. The animations are very smooth, not many bugs that we have going on with the animations, which I think is a really good thing, because usually Star Stable breaks horses, like we get a horse with good animations, two months later they're broken. Um, with the Jorvik Wilds, they still look intact and perfect, so no surprise here. Uh, I definitely understand why the Jorvik Wild has made it to the top three. All right, moving on to the top second most favorite horse breed from the game. I was a bit surprised, to be honest. It is the American Pain Horse, the updated one. Now, I was expecting this one to get first place, and it didn't. I am in shock. The Pain Horse is personally my favorite one from the game. Um, the starred apples, his coat in particular, has is just insane. Um, I've always loved the apple gray horses and all the coats that this horse comes in are amazing, except for the chestnut one, I don't like that one, the chestnut Overo that was sold at Fort Pantana was being sold at the Riding Hole Arena. Um, this horse is amazing, dude, like I have nothing, not one single thing to complain about it. The animations are perfect, the coats again, freaking revolutionary, they even changed the razor cut for this horse alone, uh, you can actually um, go to the hair salon, pick the razor cut, and it finally looks different and good. I wish they would have done that with the newer horses, but they didn't. They, uh, again, used the old weird razor cut hairstyle, whatever it is. But yeah, this horse is just freaking amazing. I've been waiting for this horse for a very long time, and I was actually thinking and wondering, is it gonna be on the same mold and model as the new quarter horses? And nope, it's on a completely different horse uh, mold, and it looks amazing. Really surprised it didn't get first place, to be honest. And for the first place, we have the Arabian horse. Now, I can see why it's first, but to be honest, I was expecting the paint horses to get first and Arabian second, but it didn't, which is really weird. Apparently, you guys like the Arabian more. I understand why. This horse is beautiful. The animations are really good. The coats are amazing. Again, the one you're seeing on the screen right now was only available for a limited amount of time at the open house event from Star Stable, so you can no longer purchase this horse in game right now, but the event is gonna come back next year, so you'll be able to get your hands on it if you want it. The animations are beautiful, it's a very it's a very elegant horse. Really surprised when they released this horse because we already had an updated Arabian horse, so now we have three generations of Arabians, just like we do with the Frisians. 
and they could have updated other models such as the Morgans or um, Oldenburgs, whatever that's besides the point nothing to complain about this horse the only thing maybe that I don't like as much is the special animation it's just like kind of boring it's exactly like the rear it just lasts longer and the horse moves forward a bit but yeah this horse is just beautiful is there anyone that doesn't like these horses? And if you don't like them, that's totally fine and valid. I've just never heard anyone that doesn't like them. Alright guys, those were your top 3 most favorite horses from the game. Now we'll move on to the top 3 worst horses from the game. So on the third place we have the Knob Stripper horse. Now, I understand why you guys don't like this giraffe horse. To be honest, I've always disliked it ever since it came out. The only thing I probably liked about it was um, this horse in particular. The coat of it was a bit interesting. But man... This is a freaking dinosaur. You cannot tell me this is a horse. It looks like it's got scoliosis, which I'm not gonna be bullying the horse because, you know, I also have scoliosis and I understand the pain and insecurity this horse must go through. However, what the freak? Not only is the horse looking like a freaking worm, but also the animations are terrible. The coats are freaking disgusting. The only one that's decent is, um, you know, this one, Appaloosa, whatever, Blanket Appaloosa, it's, it's decent. When the horse rears, it looks like a freaking worm, dude. Like it's inflating or deflating. I don't know what's going on with this horse. I remember I made a whole video about how this horse is just a mess and it's got the hooves of a cow. It's so disproportionate. It's just, this is, this does not look like a horse to me. Now, this one really surprised me. On second place, we have the Frisian horse, the Generation 3 Frisian horse. I was surprised. I thought this horse was pretty much liked by people. I thought it maybe, you know, I thought that half of the community likes it and half of it hates it. But apparently you guys really don't like this rat. And I like the trot of the horse and the canter. Well, do I like it? I don't know, man. This horse is acting like a freaking dog. This horse is in fact a chaos, it has very weird movements, um, the gallop is freaking weird, the slow gallop makes it look like it's um, hurting, even when it's staying still it's very obnoxious and very dynamic, uh, when it gallops the back hind interferes with the belly so that doesn't look good. Um, the reason I got this Frisian horse was for the coat because the coat is really nice, however the animations are terrible. The hard stop is what freaking terrifies me, gives me nightmares at night and I can't sleep. There's a lot going on with this horse, a lot of wrong things. When it first came out, there was so much drama. When it rears, it looks like the hooves are being dislocated. There's just so much wrong with it. To be honest, riding this horse was a pain because it makes me so uncomfortable the way it moves when it's staying still. It makes a very weird face with the teeth. And your number one most hated horse is the Curly Horse. Now, I must thank you guys for this, because you all know how much I dislike this horse. From behind, if you look at it, it looks like a pit bull that's running. It looks like a pit bull, the ears are very close to each other. It's a very, like, chunky and short horse. Um, I love pit bulls in real life, but we're talking about a horse right now, so this should look like a horse, not like a freaking dog, right? The texture of the fur, they could have done such a good job with that, but they decided to make it look like a certain type of hair that will not go into because I just don't want to do that. The animations are very creepy, the leg looks like it's falling off when it's um, trotting. The coats are all ugly. The horse is just freaking creepy again. Like this horse and the Frisian horses, when they're staying still and they're moving, it's really scary. I don't know what they're doing, dude. I don't know what's up with them. I don't know what they're on, to be honest. It looks like a goat and like a pit bull. That's the mix. We have a pit bull goat mix going on here. No, but really, the curly horses are really creepy, even when running, the back legs don't look like they're sinking with the front legs, um, the ears are very weird, it looks like a freaking wild pig actually when it runs, it's just, I know I've been comparing the horse with animals for the past 10 minutes, but it just looks freaking scary when galloping from front, it's just terrifying. If you guys like this horse, I'm not gonna judge you, because we're individuals and we have subjective opinions, however, I wanna know what you like about it. Just, like, no, no judgement here, if you like or dislike it, no judgement. You can like it and that's okay, but just let me know what you like about this horse, because I'm really curious. That was it for today's video, guys. It has taken me two weeks to finish this video, I've been feeling kind of burnt out lately, and 
I had no motivation to upload any Star Trek videos, but I finally did it, and thank you all for submitting your responses um, on my Google form. Without that, I wouldn't have been able to make this video, so I really appreciate that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!